I'm Brittany, this is my co-host Lestat, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today, finally, is season two, episode one of Interview with the Vampire. To say this is highly anticipated is to put it mildly. This show really came out of nowhere in season one for me personally and just exceeded my expectations on all fronts. This is such an amazing show with a pitch perfect cast and they're just doing everything they're just doing everything right. The show created its own dynamic. It created its own lane and it's speeding down that lane at like 200 miles an hour and we finally get to see more. Also, when the trailer for this season dropped, I had, like, everybody come running screaming into my inbox about whatever the hell happened in this trailer. I did not watch this trailer because I have to stay away from spoilers because you can't react to the same thing twice. But I am definitely watching the trailer at the end of this season just to see what everybody was talking about and just hearing everybody go nuts over it and having so many people come to me screaming in excitement has me really curious as to what the fuck is in this season. So we're gonna hit play and we're finally gonna find out. Oh. Vampires, darkness. That doesn't help me when I got a lot of light coming at me. By the way, by the way, I don't know if you've seen my reaction to season one, which is also up on this channel, but uh, I called this in those reactions, and I think potentially the first episode, maybe the second, I kind of made a half joke about what if he was you know, Armand. And I'm never going to forget that, frankly. I'm never going to drop it. I'm not, I'm going to be really obnoxious about it because I can't believe that I turned out to be very right. <clears throat> Pry up his bones. Why don't you? Mm. Louis mm -hmm. de Pointe de Lac. Dead weight. Oh, that's rough, buddy. You ever read Moby Dick, Real Rasheed? Real Rasheed? So that's, weird. That's, Where did they send you when Shah Rukh Khan here was playing you? My love ran a theater company for 150 years. Daniel. Your love was in a box pondering a premeditated neck wound. According to Claudia, she wrote it. Oh. Let's choose to... Unworthy in San Francisco, unworthy in Dubai. Oh! Disregard. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, this gonna be a bitch fest. I'm seated. Armand? <laughs> Nightmare. Uh huh. Bonjour, mon amour. Oh, hello, darling. I'm rooting for you. You ruined it with remorse. <laughs> it was a perfect betrayal. I'm merely waiting until you're happy. Sorry, mon cher. I had taken 7,000 souls by then. Oh, shit. But Lestat was the only one that felt like murder. Semantics. Fuck Troy. off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Who wrote that line? If that's a line from the book, whoever wrote that, whoever wrote that, I would like to slap you across the face and give you a raise. Please, wave your hand. The gray brown of a charred and bullet ridden city. God, I missed this show's penchant for poetry. Weren't we told in season one that the European vampires were worse? <laughs> you will make the friends. Yeah, and then they'll make dinner. Not used to seeing men with good looks. <laughs> he and, uh, is a beautiful man. You got to give him that. Most from time. Louis. 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 Wonderful. Strange. Welcome to No Question Hell on Earth. Is it just me or is he giving Hugh Grant? His delivery, his way about him is, is very Hugh Grant to me. Why are they shooting up? 
That's how it went. Uh, we got every detail right. Uh, Total agreement. Perhaps this would be a time we to were... take a break, Louis. Mm. Mm -hmm. We were all wondering at the end of season one exactly how the, how how reliable his interview, his testimony was in the face of apparently a very long time under the influence of Armand and exactly how he had potentially been fucked with in that regard. Are they are they going into that? Because Armand did not seem to be terribly happy that Louis fixed something, even if it was something seemingly innocuous. We're actually doing the unreliable narrator? Not literally, not some dumb Halloween costume, <laughs> blinds, contact lens. Armand didn't want me to do the interview, Daniel. He I wonder him. why. He wanted to be close to it, right, Real Rashid? Uh-huh. Okay. Whatever it is. You, I can fucking break. I love him even I like I liked him in season one, but if this is his season two vibe, I am here for it. That's Do we really want to be talking to him? Like when we say we're looking for other vampires, do we mean oh wait, I don't think that I don't think that vampire that vampire doesn't look too good. He don't! Like eating an apple. Scared of There's one of us out there! He can't take your ballroom dancing to tell you you're pretty. Hell with him, is that it? Hello, Grudge. No, mm -mm. I've known exactly four vampires in my life, and you've all been the worst. The star <laughs> Antoinette, the mother... Dreaming. The bitch is dreaming. Was dreaming. Thank you. Even yeah, you are fucking moved by that. Break. Thank you. Oh, bait! Sure. This reminds me of that one scene in Jurassic Park 2. <laughs> Tell her about the blood. Just enjoy the age. The blood is sad. We have there's very sad, mm -hmm. depressed. But that's yeah, uh, by the way, he's is he's having um are we just gonna talk over his gurgling? We'll clean that up later. See, that part concerns me. I don't think there are any actual children. He wants you in pieces for the privilege of putting them back together as he sees It's his job. It's his drug. Are, no, are we saying that's not what you're, you're doing, mean. Armand? No. Even the hand holding is Good like morning. I so, just simply fellas, don't buy it. What's up? The vampire Louis and the vampire Armand. Hey, progress. You went west towards something awful, Claudia I feel. Entirely broken. Heaven had since we'll, no, 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 we'll get to you. <clears throat> the war had turned off hard words and soft words. That sounds familiar. Didn't somebody say that in season one? It was either, was it Lestat to Louis or Louis to Lestat or? I swear that's a recall. She said that to him. I'm an idiot. I won't kill. It would be enough. Uh, 
fucking France, fucking Paris. <sighs> why is this show so good? Just fucking, why? Like, uh, that last moment was so good. And Hell did exactly what a season opener should. It held all sorts of promise for the season to come. It made me so excited for to see what the fuck else they're gonna do. I'm so hyped for this season. And I can't scream because my fucking wife is asleep. <laughs> that was an interestingly, relatively low-key start. And they're only going to build from here. Well, that's it for season two, episode one of Interview with the Vampire. I will be here next week for episode two. And in the meantime, please remember to take care of yourself. <laughs>